Hey, what's good? It's Cardi AB. Man, if you want to see the top 10 low-key clothing brands in 2022, then this is the perfect video for you. So stay tuned and let's roll the intro. Gotta move that shit. Yeah. Gotta represent. Yeah. Look at the cat. Before we get this video rolling, get this video started, I want to let you guys know that these 10 brands are in no particular order. So the first brand that I'm about to put y'all on is called Sage in Utopia. Now this brand, yeah, this brand is him for show. And you want to know why? Because she gets these ideas when she's dreaming at night and she paints them all. So each one is technically one of one because she hand paints them all. So she really puts her heart, like she really puts her soul into it. And it's the most original designs that I've ever seen. It's unlike any design, hand dyed, hand painted, hand designed. It's completely original, completely like a thousand percent original. I've never seen anything like this before. But coming in at two is purple underscore hill, but purple hill, it's really fire because also it makes very original pieces that I haven't seen before, such as the skeleton things that you could rip off. Um, also, each piece in Purple Hills collections are one of one. So he also hand sews them, hand does them all. So they are all one of one. You can't get another piece like it at all. If he makes one jacket, and it's a particular design, you're never gonna get that design ever again in your life. So if you like a design on their site, make sure to cop it then and there. But for number three is Mazir. I don't know how to say this. Masir, Mazir Moderne. I'ma say Mazir Moderne. I really like the fonts that they use on it. So they kind of put texture on the font that they use and then they kind of distress around the actual lettering and just their distressing, their fading that they use on it is very cool. Also, their pants are very unique. They have these one pair of leather pants, but the leather is actually kind of peeling and it's like the actual leather is distressed and it's kind of peeling off, which gives a cool, unique look. A future memory, why I clicked on this brand, why I got involved in this brand and why it made it to this list on Cartier B's list, Cartier's channel is because they're crossbodies. Their crossbodies are really, really cool. White crossbody with the big star. So their crossbodies are unlike anything else because they have their own like design. It's a portal and a star are their two like major like logo fonts that they use in most of their designs. A Kings New York. I gotta shout out Cash K. He did put me on his brand, not personally, cause I don't know him, but through his videos I was watching and he did put me on A Kings New York. They make super cool waxed leather pants, waxed leather pants. And it's unique in the way that it has straps on the side of the pants. So it just adds like a unique effect. They just made some new pants called crimson the crimson stacks or something like that stay tuned for a kings new york because they are definitely going up in 2022 if you know anything about kanye west his album cover right here graduation they completely replicated the teddy bear that's on there and they replicated it in multiple ways they brought the clothes that the teddy bear has on to life which i have never seen before ever done before and they've made a bunch of different variations their whole thing is about the kanye graduation album they have a buzzer um they have all the they made the puffer they made the leatherman they made the actual teddy bear they made a life-size teddy bear right they made the actual puffer coat that the teddy bear is wearing in the album cover like really analyze this bro they brought an album covers they brought an album cover to life. And for the next one is gonna be Empty Spaces, bro. If you guys don't know Empty Spaces, let me put y'all on. Their Carnage Denim. Their Carnage Denim is crazy. On the two back pockets, it says empty on the left and then spaces on the right pocket. They have distressing all the way down to the um, hem, or not to the hem, to the bottom of the jean. Also, they do have a new pair of denim dropping that is completely cool. It's gonna be up on the screen. And yeah, they also now have uh, silver rings. One says void on it and the other one says empty spaces on it. Suede Gallery is a super cool brand. The paint, 
the paint that they put on the clothes is what I'm trying to say. I'm stumbling over my words. The paint that they put on their clothes and the way they use it is really cool because I don't know if you guys have tried this or not, but trying to paint your own clothes and put them splatters on there is actually hard, man. It, it, it actually takes a lot of effort for it not to look messed up. So they uh, hand paint their they hand paint their clothing items. But the next one is enjoying colors. Overall, their brand is very unique, cool, and they have a very vibrant brand. Everything about their brand is color, vibrant color. Green pants, yellow pants, green, yellow, and blue beanies. Green, yellow, and blue everything, bro. Like Everything is very vibrant colors, which it kind of gives me a breath of fresh air because I don't know if you guys are like me, but I wear a lot of black, dark clothing. And not just because I'm, I'm just that type of guy. It's just because it's just easy to throw on, man. Black stuff, dark stuff is easy to throw on and match with everything. But popping a color of vibrance in your collection, in your wardrobe, would be worth it. And I'm going to invest definitely myself. So you guys should invest in that brand. Get a little pop of vibrancy. For the last brand, last but definitely not least, definitely not the worst one by any means, Blind Date Incorporated. So this isn't techni technically, it's not a clothing brand because this Instagram page, this brand Blind Date Incorporated sells other brands. They sell all designer and it's not just all designer, they sell every single variation of designer pieces, Helmet Lane, Rick, Raph, Margella, all the unique, all the Ricks that you would never find out in a store, all the helmet laying that you could never find just laying out in the store in Saks Fifth Avenue or anything like that. Crazy, Amiri, Denim, but they also sell super cool 1900s vintage tees, not designer whatsoever. So it's really cool what they're doing. They sell chrome hearts, they sell designer, and they also don't sell designer. They do really cool vintage stuff. You could find denim on their page from the 1800s, from the 1700s, t-shirts from the 1700s. Like that's crazy. 18, 19, 20 is 20. That's like 400 years of use of history that you could put on your body if you go and shop on their site. And anyways, that's gonna conclude all the brands today. I hope I did end up putting you guys on some brands. I hope you guys did get put on a little bit somewhat. This is a part two video. So if you guys wanna see the other video, if you guys wanna get 10 more low key clothing brands, then go look at my other clothing brand video. And we out, man. Stay blessed, stay motivated, all that, bro. I'ma catch you on the next. Yeah, he got some other